Hey folks, how you doing there? This is Luke, K2 TAC, with three mosquitoes, gear for the portable ham. I'm out here today at Eagle Rock Reservation in northern New Jersey. We're about 12 miles away from New York City. And uh, excellent location, uh, nice mountaintop location with a nice clear shot of the city. Um, we're out here testing out one of our new products that we're going to be offering at the Three Mosquito site, and that is the Three Mosquitoes Roll Up J Pole Slim Jim Antenna. All right, and this is cut for two meters, but it's resonant also on 440. Um, before leaving the house, I checked uh, the uh, Nano VNA readings on it, and on 440, it was uh, two point three to one uh, which is not too shabby and uh, 1.5 to 1 on 2 meters uh, after I got here and strung it up on the tree one of the other ones it's right there right up on the tree about 10 feet uh, I took the reading again and it was 1.3 to 1 on 2 meters so not too shabby it's actually an excellent excellent uh, performing antenna it is uh, built on 300 ohm ladder line and um, or twin lead uh, the feed line is RG174 and it is terminated with a female BNC connector so you're going to need a male BNC connector to uh, to connect it to the antenna or whatever connections you decide <laughs> it is what it is anyways Nonetheless, um, it is rated for 10 to 20 watts maximum. Again, it's twin lead, so it's very thin wire. You don't want to put anything more than that. Otherwise, you'll melt the wire. You'll fry it. You, we don't want that. This is designed for the POTA guys, the SOTA guys, the emergency communication guys, anyone that just wants to throw up uh, a good resonant antenna for the technicians that wants to uh, get out a little better. It has a 3 dB gain over the stock rubber duckies that you may already have on your HT. And everybody knows the stock rubber duckies are horrible. Uh, well, it depends on your radio. I think the one on the FT, uh, on the Yesu FT60 is a very good performing rubber ducky. Nonetheless, um, we are going to go ahead and do a 2 meter simplex test. And again, we're about 12 miles away from New York City. Uh, as the crow flies uh, or as we see it's a little cloudy so I can't really you, you're not really going to be able to see it from here um, and I am in their picnic area so we're surrounded by trees on this end so let's go ahead and uh, turn on the radio we are running a uh, Baofeng BF F8 and uh, let's go on uh, two meters and call out see who calls back This is K2 TAC calling any station anywhere, transmitting out of Eagle Rock Mountain in northern New Jersey, West Orange, New Jersey. Anyone copy? Come back. CQ on 5-2, CQ on 5-20. This is Kilo 2 Tango Alpha Charlie calling any station anywhere, transmitting out of Eagle Rock Mountain in northern New Jersey. Anyone copy? Come back. Yeah, how you doing, Caleb? KD2 TFJ, what's up, brother? This is uh, this is Lou, bro. I'm up here at uh, Eagle Rock Mountain, uh, testing out a new antenna that we're uh, that we're punching out with the three mosquitoes. Uh, it's a roll-up J pole. Uh, how's my signal? How am I coming through? Are uh, you coming over 100 percent? Um, I'm on, uh, what is it, 21 right now, um, right next to, um, the New Jersey uh, Institute of Technology, not too far away from there, and, um, 280, so you're coming over loud and clear. Roger that, roger that. Listen, Christian, is it okay if I use you, uh, with your permission on our, uh, on our video that, that I'm doing? I'm actually doing a video for the website and for YouTube. Yeah, of course. I know I haven't been on the air for a little while. It's been a little crazy with the past few months. Um, how is everything? Everything's good to go. Can't complain. All's good in the neighborhood. Again, uh, I'm out here just doing a, uh, 
a test with the uh, antenna. We just uh, we just started making them, and uh, I've got two of them with me now, and one of them I'm testing right now as we speak. As I'm also doing the video, so you will be uh, a YouTube sensation. All right, well, Roger that. Well, listen, we're definitely gonna have to hook up, man. Anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for getting back to me. Let me see if anybody else is out there that uh, wants to uh, copy over here. I appreciate you, brother. Roger that, KD2 VFJ. This is K2TAC. Uh, any other stations out there? This is Kilo Two Tango Alpha Charlie calling CQ from. Eagle Rock Mountain in West Orange. Anyone copy? Uh, this is K2TAC calling any station anywhere. Anyone copy? Come back. Okay. Well, that was two meters. Now I'm going to try to hit a repeater that I always have a hard time hitting from up here um, with just a regular stock rubber ducky. So I'm going to switch over. I'm going to go to the WO2X repeater in Little Falls. It's also known as the Montclair State University repeater. Uh, let me see if I can catch somebody there. This is K2TAC calling any station anywhere. Come back. WO2NWN, signing off. <laughs> WA2NWN, what's up, Charlie? Listen, uh, how am I coming through? Am I hitting the repeater well? Well, Roger that. Well, listen, man, uh, I'm actually testing out uh, a new antenna that we're offering with the three mosquitoes. It's, uh, it's a roll-up J-pole antenna, and I got it up about 10 feet up in the tree. This is actually the first time I'm actually able to, uh, to hit this repeater from this location. So, uh, glad that it's coming through well. Oh, very cool, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. You know, I still haven't got out to try your antenna. <laughs> Well, uh, all's forgiven for now. Anyway, listen, I'm also doing a video. Do I have your permission to uh, put you on uh, YouTube and on our website? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. You should just uh, let me redo it so you can record it nicely. Oh, yeah, it sounds great. Well, the best report is an, is an honest signal report, and you uh, and you did well with that. I appreciate you. Anytime, anytime. Enjoy it, and I'll definitely check it out. And uh, once the kids are both in school next year, I'll be able to get back on HF and definitely try the other one that I uh, bought from you. All right, well, thanks anyway for getting back to me, and uh, let me get back to this video to finalize it. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for everything you do. And uh, again, bro, you're my hero. Uh, WA2NWN is also a firefighter, so he's awesome. Take it easy, brother. Take care, Lou. We'll catch you soon. I'm heading inside. 7-3, W-H-O-N-W-N. Roger that, roger that. Anyone else out here? Okay, nothing hurt. So there you go, folks. Um, I was able to hit a repeater that I normally can't hit from this location with a rubber duck antenna. Uh, and I uh, made a contact on two meters, which from what he said his location, he was close to 12 miles away, uh, but that was on uh, through cityscape, so a lot of buildings, etc., in the way, plus he's also on the other side of the mountain, so part of the mountain is actually blocking him, so I'm actually surprised that I was able to get to that particular location from here, but nonetheless, um, again, uh, great performing uh, antenna. Um, it is uh, readily available on the Three Mosquitoes website. It does come with a little hole so that you can add any kind of, uh, you know, I guess, attachment point so that you can put it up in a tree. Uh, I am supplying just a small piece of uh, 
550 paracord at the end so that you can you know tie it off but you can use whatever you want to tie it off anyway nonetheless uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for take, uh, stopping by. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, and thanks for visiting us, uh, visiting us at uh, 3 mosquitoescom That's mosquitoes without the E. Uh, and again, I thank you all for everything that you do for us, our business. And um, you have yourselves a great day. Seven threes.